So, um, myself Srinidhi and I have completed uh, my masters from Saint Francis College for Women, Begum Bay, Hyderabad. So, I have opted for uh, counseling, psychology specialization in my second year, and um, upon which, like, I started uh, researching more about clinical psychology, and I I wanted to um, study my MPhil or PsyD in the same uh, specialization. So. And then I uh, bumped into UPS, and I have known a few friends who have come across uh, um, this amazing uh, place. So I just started browsing more about it, and I finally got. Uh, uh, I mean, I just uh, got the materials from UPS, and I started preparing a uh, preparation. And then now, uh, into the ID program at Swika. Uh, one of the uh, reasons is definitely. Uh, Arvind sir's videos that I keep, uh, you know, watching because it's really demotivating at times because we keep writing exams and I definitely can relate to other students. But once you see the number of seats that are there and you can't get in and there's a lot of uh, uh, other reasons. So one of the reasons is that the videos that I keep watching as to how you can uh, learn, how, how you can actually you know, give certain time for each subject and all the timetable that I can make. So initially, it would be a bit uh, tough for us to follow. However, if you can, if you can just roll on with it and just allot certain time, then it would actually motivate us. And I definitely would take breaks in between. So I nef- uh, wouldn't go on a stretch, and I take breaks. And also, uh, having this love for the exam and for your subject would, uh, you know will not let you take a toll um, about the exam anxiety. So you will obviously keep motivating yourselves and have some relaxation breaks and then you'll get back to it. So that's how I uh, kept on studying for the exam. Uh, The materials are very comprehensive. So every point has been mentioned over there. You don't have to go on, uh, you know, referring a lot of textbooks out there because if we uh, end up referring all the textbooks, it would probably lead to again uh, exam anxiety for us. And there'll be a lot of things that we may even, uh, you know, forget. But in uh, the UPS material, one thing I have uh, personally observed is that everything is there in one particular material and you don't have to look back. So you can always make notes from that material also. And uh, with respect to the portal, the MCQs would help uh, from A to Z. So if you would want only specific subjects, uh, MCQs as well as a test uh, test material, like you can just log on to it and you can have only cognitive side or you can have only social side. And if you want to practice like entire mock test as in how you give an MPhil, you can give that as well. So this definitely have given me an opportunity to understand what are my uh, weak areas and what are my strengths. So then I actually understood that I, I was weak in cognitive psych and uh, I was good in other subjects. So it helped me practice even more. And the MCQs are one of the best things, uh, you know, provided by uh, online portal of UPS. So, I got to know a lot of questions that I previously did not bump into. Um, among EDCP and uh, PsyD programs, uh, one of the major differences, and even uh, can get obvious differences about uh, the diploma, diploma program. So here uh, you're going to get the license as well, which we you know uh, definitely, but then uh, it's not as, um, the cu- curriculum is not as comprehensive as SID uh, to me, at least personally. So I wanted to get into SID where, wherein we also uh, would get the doctoral uh, experience along with the practical uh, program in, that has been in there. And also I can opt for some sp- sub specializations. So to be a proper clinical psychologist and uh, the major difference with uh, between here as we know the associate clinical psychologist and clinical psychologist in ID. So I wanted to work for as for the proper clinical psychologist uh, program over there. So that's uh, one of the major reasons why I was more inclined towards the ID one. Right, uh, so obviously I would uh, see myself as a clinical psychologist with, uh, with uh, specializing in certain areas that I love in. And I probably would be uh, working in a you know, some hospitals and having a private clinic of my own and uh, definitely living my dream so that I can also help people and also have my passion, uh, you know, right in front of me. So that's how I see it. Uh, 
um i would just say that uh, do not go by how many number of seats are there and if you would get in or not uh, that just one thing you we all need to look into is if we have uh, proper uh, material with us and if we are really motivated to get into the program so these two things would uh, contribute uh, to like to the success for sure so if you can you know just uh, prepare yourself with the help of ups that would give you all the things possible so you'll have everything in hand you don't even have to i didn't personally buy any other referral uh, referral textbooks or anything so kindly just have uh, your uh, you know some space for yourself in a day so that you can just have some relaxation time and in the other point of the day in other half of the day just try to study with the uh, breaks and you know having proper uh, rest time for yourself so that would be the key for you so in order to take break and not to, to study or else it would really uh, you know just wear you out so that's the thing